Welcome back to Next Gen Investing. Alex Coffey joined by Jenny Horn as we discuss Cody, the uh, one of the leading makers of fragrances, uh, fragrances, beauty, skin, and body care products for both men and women. Joining us now to tell us a little bit more about this company and why it's on her mind is Renita Young, Senior Markets Correspondent for the Schwab Network. Cody, this is a name that we've certainly talked about uh, several times. We were just talking a little bit on the break. Not really my... Uh, my realm, the yeah. fragrances, skincare and stuff, but maybe you guys can help me out. You know what, I've definitely owned some of the brands that are licensed under Cody, right? But today, the shares are up because the company actually boosted its fiscal year 2024 guidance. That's a really great situation for the company because it's, uh, it's really had a good run when it comes to different scents. Right now, the big debut of the Burberry Goddess perfume, along with a few others, is helping boost the brand, bring it along, and other big releases. But Cody is expecting core retail sales growth in the first half of fiscal year 2024 of up to 12% at the high end. The prior high end now becomes the low end of 10%. And that's not all. Cody's been firing on all cylinders lately. Two of its fragrance innovations are among the top five of the fall. And then now they have three fragrance lines in the U.S. top 10. That's pretty big, but Cody is not smelling itself too much right now. It's not too big for its britches because the company still continues to target modest gross margin expansion in fiscal year 2024. They're looking for between a 10 and 30 basis points of adjusted EBITDA margin expansion, and that would imply adjusted EBITDA of approximately 1.085 billion at the high end. So you know what's so interesting about these these makeup companies, Renita, is the name like Cody. We've seen it's up over 40 percent this year, mm -hmm. so it's been really strong. Another name that's seen that same degree of strength is actually Actually, Elf, which is eyes, lips, and face beauty. That yeah. name is, I mean, killing it this year. And then I was looking at Estee Lauder, which is the complete inverse. So this makeup market, I can't figure out. I've, I'm assuming it has a lot to do with what is on trend and people sort of flock to the brands mm -hmm. that are all over TikTok. I do know that is a huge market right now for a lot of these makeup companies. But as far as Cody goes, we did see they launched their Burberry Goddess fragrance, setting new market records. I mean, so it's surprising to me, actually, that we're still seeing some degree of of, of modest guidance given all these these metrics that we laid out that are quite bullish. It is, and I think that they are taking account for what everyone else is, but they may not just be seeing it outright right now. The fact that a lot of consumers are going to pull back as the year goes on because of the micro macroeconomic conditions. Uh, they may not have said that, or they may come out and say it anytime soon, but you have to account for that these days in retail. Yeah, and I wish that I could pull back on my makeup spending. Something you might find uh, interesting here, Jenny, you said it was Pinterest, 70% of revenue generated outside the U.S. Uh, for Cody as hmm. well. 125 countries and territories. This thing's all over the place. It China, is. Brazil, England stick out. Uh, but again, another company primarily international revenue. Mm -hmm. And I think that so speaks to the, some of their luxury offerings because the luxury market is so hot overseas, Europe and China being more dominant than we do see here in the U.S. So the really interesting name and a name that it's held on to, it's 40% gain. So I like yeah. to see that despite about a 10% pullback from highs. We will leave it there. Great breakdown. Renita Young, Thanks. Senior Markets Correspondent for the Network.